Well, hey guys, KT6 here, metal detecting in Alaska. It's a pretty cold day here in Fairbanks. I believe it's minus 30 something, so I'm gonna go down to the bank and get a shot of what the temperature is. Well, looks like it's cold. Now check out what uh, gas prices are in Fairbanks, Alaska. $2.99 for regular unleaded and $3.39 for diesel. Well, so today guys, I'm gonna teach you how to make clouds in Alaska. After my video, got 37 million views I've had a lot of questions and we're gonna answer some of those today well the first thing you're gonna need to make clouds is an outside temperature of at least minus 30 Fahrenheit or minus 34.4 Celsius well and the second thing you're gonna need is boiling water at either 220 Fahrenheit or 104.4 Celsius, which is the point of boiling. Well, looks like the water is ready. Well, I'm no scientist, but there are two endothermic processes going on here. The first one is called sublimation, which is where something changes from a solid to a liquid to a gas. And then there's also something called the Mapinda effect. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but that just means that hot water freezes faster than cold water. If you want to know more about that, look them up and uh, you'll learn a lot more because I can't explain it. I'd also like to give a shout out to my buddy Jacob from the Chaos Divers. He gave me this hat probably four years ago and I wear it every winter. It keeps my head so warm. Anyways, shout out to you Jacob. If you guys can, go check out his channel and subscribe to him. All right, so let's throw some water in the air and watch it flow away like a cloud. Yeah, look at that. So that worked pretty good. All right, so I did it off of a ladder because some people wanted to see it at a higher rate there to fall. So anyways, next we're gonna try some hot coffee. A lot of people wanted to see that. Okay, so now we got some coffee boiling. Let's go try that. Well, now let's try it with some hot coffee.
well there you can see it worked but at the same time look how much coffee came down but it did work okay so water is the best now last year I went out with a super soaker spray gun and I sprayed hot colored water so this year I'm going to take a big pot of hot colored water and we'll throw that into the air because no matter how hard I tried with the super soaker it would come out a certain color and then it would instantly change to white steam so let's get a pot of colored water and try that okay so we got some more water boiling and what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to put some blue food coloring in the water and turn it blue and then we'll throw that into the air that will be cool and there we go we got blue water All right, so now let's do it with some blue water. Wow, that didn't turn out so good. I tried it with this pot and it threw up and it slung back and came right down on top of me. Wow, look at this mess. So I don't know if you noticed, but the blue water looked like white steam. So it's kind of weird. You'd think it would be blue steam. Anyways, Thanks for watching my cool experiment. Hopefully it answered some of your questions. And uh, until next time, from Fairbanks, Alaska, we'll see you later. <laughs>